Dr. Leonard Pike is one of the very well-known plant breeder in the world. When he saw how messed up the onion industry was, and he said, no, we can fix this. Give us 10 years, you know. We're not gonna give you 10 years, we want it immediately. There was a big move in Texas. We were looking for some good onions. The Onion House with Don Ed, take one. Count one, count two. The word that best explains the Texas 1015 onion is sweet. Grano Gran X onion, which Gran X means flat, Grano means round. It's, it's beautiful, very light in color. It is It is single centered. A late 20th century success story, nicknamed the Million Dollar Baby, because it took 10 years of extensive research, never ending testing, and a million dollar budget to achieve this masterpiece. That they wanted some good onions, which has pink root resistance, milder, and also it should give the bulb in the winter time. These compounds are strong antioxidants, and they have been studied by biochemists and others and, and, and medical researchers, and they seem to have a role in reducing the risk of a damage to your cell that leads to cancer, of certain kinds of cancer, um, and, and, but certainly of other diseases, heart disease in particular. The state moves between 75 to $100 million worth of onions annually. A 1015 onion study from 1983 to 98 showed a $1.2 billion value to the state's economy. President George H.W. Bush asked former Texas A&M regent Wayne Showers when he arrived at the White House, did you bring the 1015 onion? So what makes this vegetable so successful? Let's find out.